Hello and welcome to Talk Audio TV with a bit of reverb. I'm in the uh, headquarters of Alpine Electronics here in Coventry and I'm stood outside a rather serious looking uh, room. Well actually it's not just a room, it's a, it's a whole construction filling up half of the uh, warehousing here. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Here we go. Well, what's inside? A bunch of wedgies. Um, in this little annex we've got a whole bunch of rather sexy looking test equipment. Um, amplifier research, there's a name on that thing there. We've got a bunch of wires for testing stuff looking hanging up here, but um, inside the most important components are the people. It's Mr. Michael Cleal and yeah. Barry John Vincent, who are Evaluation Centre Manager and Aftermarket and Tech Manager. Hello. Hi. Hello, Barry John. Barry John. Mike, hello, sir. Hello, Adam. How are you? Very well indeed, sir. I've, I've come to ask you about what I gather is 500 grand's worth of uh, RF shielded room here. What, what is the, uh, the, the, the proper term for the facility we're in here, Mike? Well, you found your way into our EMC chamber, Adam, and EMC stands for Electromagnetic Compatibility. Ooh. Now, this is the term used for, as the name suggests, um, ensuring that the electronic units that we supply do not interfere with other devices, other people supply, or that the people who buy may own. Right. And what I mean by that is, is, for instance, the units we have here have very fast switching circuits in. Right. Very fast switching circuits generate wavelengths in the, or frequencies in the 87.5 to 108 megahertz band, and that is the FM band. That's where radio 1, 2, 3, 4, and local radio stations transmit gotcha. <clears throat> into your radio receiver. So this is about making sure that the equipment doesn't actually put out anything spurious in the RF world? That's basically it, yeah, to make sure we don't interfere with your, your, your mobile phones or your GPS receivers that you have in the vehicle. We have to make sure that um, when we turn everything on, we don't take anything else out and send anything down. So. Gotcha. And this room here is very expensive, as you mentioned, uh, and that is because it's completely sealed. It's graphite walls, and no radio waves can get in or out of this room when the doors are shut. It's so uh, half a million quid's worth That's right. of radio frequency shielded room. Um, there's the magic word Alpine up there. It's just the most amazing facility. And terribly rare, I've been all over the world looking at car audio, but I haven't seen anywhere where they've actually got anything quite like this. And of course, you can bring cars in here, can't you, as well, dear boy? Go on, yeah, press yeah, that yeah. button. How do we open the door? Right, okay. <laughs> Check this out. The sheer scale of it. It's failed, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, the door does open on a compressor, but it's uh, 500 grand's worth of... Uh, Tremendously serious RF facility to uh, make sure that the Alpine kit does what it should do. Quite a unique. And there's Adam Rayner interfering with wedges in the Alpine RF room. Signing off for Talk Audio TV.